Attention, people of Earth. It's me, Sawborn Destructo, enemy of Guar. Yes, you know Guar, the intergalactic scum dogs in the universe who've been pillaging your planet for millennia. Anyways, somehow you stumbled across this YouTube channel and you're watching it and you're enjoying all the stuff on it. I hope. I don't know. What is it about? I, uh, uh, maybe you hate it. I don't know. Anyways, but together we will watch Bump in the Night TV. <laughs> Welcome to Bump the Not TV. I'm your host, Orson Hills, and with me always is the blurred out, censored, Bourbon Hitchcock. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Uh, uh, What's uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. This one's so great. So good. Oh. You suck. Hey, hey this Cameraman, is... you suck too. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> sucks today. Uh, I'm the so... best looking guy in the show. You got me blurred out. So apparently, uh, Facebook has contacted YouTube. Oh. And, oh, oh. And so they've uh, extended your censorship to YouTube. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh. So, <sighs> Mr. Blurred Out Censorship Guy, what's the uh, topic tonight? I want my blurry uh, bourbon first, then. Uh, All right, I don't know if they'll be able to uh, see it, but yeah. there you go. Yeah, it probably won't be blurred out. It'll just be me. All you'll see is my hand holding the glass. Maybe. Uh, today, tonight is censorship in horror movie. It's <laughs> so grumpy now. I'm happy. All right. So we're going to talk about censorship in horror films, and uh, probably the most famously censored and banned film is *Cannibal Holocaust*. I know you've seen yeah. it. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, *Cannibal Holocaust*. Is that the one, where, was that like that German movie where all them people went into that like little smoky building and then they, they got hungry because it smelled like barbecue in there? No. So they started chewing on each other? No, you're just starting out now just being, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Obnoxious. Well, that too. But <laughs> are you grumpy because you're blurred? No. Or if my hand will show up if I put it in the blur. Oh, it's so cool. All right. So, I wonder if they're going to blur that, too. <laughs> You're completely blurred, so it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, great, great. <laughs> still, uh, somebody pick up my nose or nothing. All right, so I still have to see it. Oh, thanks. Uh, so, Hannibal Holocaust came out in 1980, I believe. Yeah. And it was banned within 10 days of its uh, premiere. God dang, they beat Faces of Death. Well, these Faces of oh, Death yeah. in the market for oh, no, a couple man. of days. Yeah, before. no. They said, nope, to the Hannibal Holocaust. Wow, slow down that bourbon, bourbon. <laughs> All right, so it was so bad that like they actually thought people were actually killed in the film. An actress actually had to show up for court to prove that she hadn't been killed. Oh wow! So all kinds of shenanigans going on with that. Now the the real issue I had with it was, and the main reason I think they should get banned and censored is the animal cruelty laws they broke. Oh wow! Yeah, there's some really harsh stuff with. The local wildlife in this film. Oh, yeah. Gotta leave that stuff to Pornhub. Where your friend uh, Chuck Wild films. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, the whole plot of this is a professor is in the jungle and he stumbles across footage from another camera crew that had been there earlier. Oh. Yeah, so this is like the very first, to my knowledge, like found footage film. Way before Blair Witch and the Lost Voyage and all that stuff. Oh, wow, yeah, sure. shoot. So, if you can find it, catch it. But uh, I think the copy that's out right now has actually been uh, released in like 2001 or so. They actually, or something. They, they cut six minutes from the film. No. I'm hoping it's just animal cruelty and not the uh, crappy. Uh, Where that, that girl gets impaled? Yeah, yeah. Through the anus? Your from anus. A, from, from a tree limb? From a dirty tree limb? limb. Oh, a dirty tree limb. I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, it was made to a stake, but at some point it was a tree line. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
So we're talking about censorship, and uh, our musical guest tonight is a band who uh, has been censored a lot, not just for their vulgarity and topics of their song, but for their name. We uh, sent uh, our friend El Santo out to check out the band, The Band, <laughs> Coat Hanger Abortion. Let's take a look at that. Orale putos! It's your favorite job or El Santo? I'm here somewhere in downtown Chattanooga. I don't know where the f I am at. I'm, I'm at some hole in the wall bar. F Bourbon and Orson decided to send me to do this shit again. I'm supposed to interview a band called Coat Hanger Abortion. Um, yeah, that's a wonderful name, guys. That's a great name. I don't understand it, but they're supposed to be really popular around this part. So I imagine that. Chattanooga has a band that they really like. Orale, orale, cabrones, que pasa? You got capes. Oh, no, no capes. No capes, man. You get, you get hurt. You get hurt with capes. Hey, look, look, there's the name of the place. I know it's backwards, but it's called Ziggy's. I'm here with somebody from Cohanger Abortion. Tell me your name and what do you do? Robbie Wooten, I do vocals. A little louder, please. Robbie Wooten, I do vocals. Damn, you sound high. Are you high? You can't be high. Are you high? I've been smoking four years. You're not lying to me. I'm over here with this tall, cool drink of water. Holy crap, I gotta put the camera up. Wait a minute, it's going out of focus. There you go. Holy crap, I'm a Mexican, but I'm only 5'8". What's your name? Wait, 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 no, don't tell me. Johnny, right? Yeah. And they take you seriously. Your name is Johnny. No, they don't take Hey, I'm in a death metal band. My name is Johnny. <laughs> you wouldn't lie to me, would you? Would not. I'm a Mexican. You can't lie to a Mexican. No. You shouldn't lie to a Mexican. Tell me your name. Tell me what you do. Ryan, I play guitar. You play guitar? Yeah. How many guitar players you got? Uh, six. No, two. <laughs> okay, you had me impressed at six. <laughs> Holy crap. Anyway, what's your name? What do you do in the band? Uh, my name's Scott, and I play drums in the band. Ooh, you play drums, so you're the uh, rhythm section. Are you the, all the rhythm section? Uh, for the time being. Do you have a bass player? Not right now. No bass player? No. How can you keep rhythm with no bass player? Um, yeah, yeah just a one, yeah, one man show right one now. Man show. Oh, it's a one man show? So the other guy screw them, it's just you, right? No, just as far as rhythm. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, so you sing in the band? Yep. No, you, you, you. So, um, I don't know what this death metal is. I, I have no idea. You know, I, I listen to you know, Mexican country music, whatever you call it. <laughs> so you play guitar? Oh yeah. And uh, how long have you been with the band? Uh, 10 years. 10 years, that's a long time. Yeah. Holy crap. Half my life. Half your, half your life? Yeah. Well, how old are you? 16. <laughs> you lying sack of dung. So uh, how long has the band been together? Uh, 20 years. Holy crap, I got underwear that's younger than that, but still, yeah. and older than that. Too long. Wow, 20 years. Oh. You play guitar? Yeah. How long have you been in with the band? 10 years. Wait a minute. He's been in for 20. You've been in it for... Okay, the band's been around for 20. So you have a, a revolving door of guitar players and people in the band except for that old right? Kind of. Really? Not really. Is he really old? He is an old bastard. He's an old bastard? Yeah. How old is he? Tell me. Yeah, who's wearing my ear? 45. Oh, that's not old. <laughs> what the hell? That's not... How old are you, Johnny? I'm 32. You young weeper snapper. Hey, stop laughing. Is he 16? No. Okay, you better not be 16. I look like it though, don't I? I could go to jail for being next to him. <laughs> so, you, you, have you guys toured the country or done anything like that? Oh, yeah. You yeah, toured the um, yeah, yeah, we've done um, three uh, three tours um, and then we've done uh, two or three like mini tours and then uh, we've done uh, like a couple uh, like little uh, Canadian. Oh, you went to Canada? Yep. How do they uh, treat you in Canada? Oh, they love it, yeah. They love death oh, yeah. metal in Canada. Death yeah. metal is big in Canada. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. it's cold. Of course, it's cold. They, they don't have nothing else. Yeah, yeah. They don't have crap. Yeah, Canada Holy crap. Awesome. So what is death metal? Uh, it's uh, a lot of scratchy guitar riffs, blast beats, growling vocals. Growling vocals. So you sound like a wounded ox yep. that's being f***ed by another ox. Okay, they're going to bleep that, I hope. I hope they bleep that. Because this is for a family, it's a family show. I think it's a family show. You shouldn't let your family watch it. And how do you describe death metal? Describe it to me, I never heard it. I don't know what the music is. Heavy growling man. See, that's what he said, heavy growling. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me, heavy growling It's not supposed to make any sense. Oh, it doesn't make sense? Yeah. It doesn't? No, man, you can't understand what they're saying anyway. So is there rhythm? Is there is there time? Yeah. I mean, are you playing 4-4 four, four no, the whole there's, time? There's just straight chaos, man. Oh, it's nothing about chaos? Yeah. Oh, Make a bunch of noise. Yeah. 
So it's like prog metal. That's the only thing you need to do. Just Wait, make a bunch of noise. Just make a bunch of noise. Yeah. And you know they're gonna have to bleep all this. Because you, know, you well, should gus. I've got a terrible. You well, terrible I mean, well, I mean, you're Caucasian, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you play guitar for ten years with this band, and uh, you enjoy it. You love it. Nah, it sucks. Which it does. Make, which make you do it? Sucks. Oh, they make you do it. Yeah. Holy crap! You're like, that's your servant. The only way I get my fix. What's your fix? Uh, probably shouldn't say if it's a family show. Playing music? Is that your fix? Okay, yeah, now we'll you're really, with that. Now you're screwing with me. Okay. <laughs> what, one of these days, uh, you know, I can retire and, and go to Mexico. Yeah. You don't want to go there. Yeah. No, I don't oh, suggest yeah. it. No, too many Mexicans. <laughs> no, no, no. You're too white. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I they, can they tan won't... up pretty good. Oh, you tan pretty good. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I, I can get there. Really? Yeah. Can he? I, I think I Is can. Is he do lying? It. You're not lying to me. Holy crap! You probably get darker than me. Maybe. I, I'm one of those. Uh, white, I'm one of those white Mexicans. If, if I work on it, yeah. Uh, at least what they tell me. Anyway, Robbie, it's great. Uh, um, I can't wait to see you guys play. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll enjoy it. If I don't enjoy it, I will leave. I will leave. I will.
once or twice before. Maybe one of their after parties, but... Ew, nasty. Alright, so it's time for... I need a technic shot just from watching that video. Hush before I censor you more. Alright. I'm already blurred. I mean, yeah, I can, we can beep your voice out, too. I'm sure I'm sure this this will be bleep, 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 you know. I hope so. So it's time for Bird's Homework. If you haven't seen the show before... This is where the weekend before I gave Bourbon a movie to watch. He's supposed to watch it, which he rarely ever does. I don't think he has. I, I did. And then he's supposed to tell us about the film. Your homework was the film Grotesque. Tell me about it. Okay. In the film, it says the uh, uh, the date they got on the film, it says 2009, when I really know it's sooner than that because uh, I've seen familiar face in there. All right. Uh, the, it, it, these bunch of kids hanging out in the party and everything's getting kind of cool and everything's getting on. Oh, they jiggling with it and they, they even doing some little well, DJ just, Jazzy just Jazz shit. Yeah, and, that's what I thought you did it. And they, yeah, they're going la 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 and jiggy with it. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, you know. Anyway, We're so, now. so everybody starts doing the, you know, the macarena and they're doing other stuff during this party. And this guy goes, "Hey, everybody, let's go down to the basement." So everybody goes down the steps, and they, you know, and typical horror movie. Everybody headed toward the basement, you know, doing the little chukukaka and <laughs> the, well, that's, doing. I haven't the, seen that dance. The, I'll have yeah, to watch and that. they get down to the basement, and uh, is that the dance is based on the uh, human centipede. Yes. I See, I was getting there. You beat me to it. All right, go ahead. You've seen this movie, too. No, I just know where you're willing to But anyway, so they get down to the basement, and the next thing you know, there's a whole bunch of guys down there with machine guns, holes, everybody hostage. And then from behind them comes Chuck Wild. Can you believe that stuff? No, I can't believe it. And then Chuck Wild goes, okay, time to make my new movie grotesque. And I can't really describe the rest though, because okay, so you may have actually watched uh, a bootleg version of this by your snuff film director friend Chuck Wild. No, it that was, should be censored too. He wrote grotesque on it. I thought that's the one you wanted me to watch. I thought that's what your mom wrote in your underwear. <laughs> okay. All right. So you were supposed to watch the film Grotesque, which came out in two thousand nineteen. And it's basically about a couple being tortured and mutilated by a, a madman. Uh, this was banned, no. and it was actually deemed in the UK to cause psychological damage. Well, no, that's Teletubbies. Only if you're drunk or other yeah. enhancements. So, if you can find this film, Let us know if it causes any psychological damages. I think Berber may have seen it ten times. Now, I what I know what I think in that movie that you was talking about where they cut out six minutes. I know what it was. They took these teenagers and strapped and uh, 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 duct taped them to a chair, and they put a headphones on them and made them listen to six hours of insane over and over and over in the jungle. They had headphones, yeah. they had duct tape, and electrical source. And they had a copy of InSync. Yeah. 
And then, want, you, want, and then when they broke loose, as they were running away to seal the deal on, to kind of get him in the back, they have Chuck Mancioni playing in in the hallways. Who? Chuck Mancioni, you know. Mancioni? You know, the one with the big trumpet. Yeah, from Do, 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 do. For throwing that reference in, uh, we're going to unblur you for a few seconds. One, yeah. two, three. Hey, everybody. Uh, put, it back, put, put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Yeah. That'd be great. Oh, All right. man. All right. So grab yourself some popcorn, a whiskey, and find yourself an uncensored horror film. Thanks for watching to the end of Bumpin' Night TV. Uh, we've suffered. We know you've suffered. We appreciate it. But we need one more thing from you. Subscribe, share, and like. Please. <laughs> Don't beg. Hey, time up right there, Pedro. I'll be on there in a minute, player. Oh, 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 what's going on? Oh, Lord, he's about to